Signs and symbols for the conscious mind. We present to you a Rome Productions. What's good everybody? If you're a first time viewer of my content and of this video, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today somebody asked me in, in my well a while back, somebody asked me in my DMs, are these particular type of symbols bad? You know, uh these symbols that I use on my page. People have seen me use the Luciferian symbol, they see me, you know, do the, the devil horns as they call it, you know, six six six. They know I have the Baphomet artwork, you know, hanging up in my room. All this other type of stuff and this person genuinely asked me are these symbols evil or is there a deeper meaning behind this so I figured to take the time out of my day to actually educate people who may not know and are willing to learn concerning the whole basis of these type of symbols now this won't be on my patreon however I do speak on things like this in a deeper aspect on my patreon and I do have PDF books where you can learn from these type of concepts and philosophies. So if you want to learn more about these type of things, um, go into the link in my description box or you can go on my Instagram and go to the link there and become a Patreon so that you can learn the matters at hand. Now getting into this topic, symbolism is nothing but symbols that come from the conscious mind or the subconscious mind I should even say. And something that I learned when I first started learning about this type of information is that symbols are nothing but a form of language. If you actually look at language and numbers and letters and so on and so forth, all of these are symbols and you put symbols together in order to create thought. Something that I learned from Manly P. Hall is that symbolism is the language of the mysteries. By symbols, men have ever sought to communicate to each other those thoughts that transcend the limitations of language and this is a quote that comes from one of my favorite books from him the secret uh, the secret teachings of all ages but concerning the whole basis at hand he always made it known that these particular symbols are not to be taken literal as a matter of fact he says woe to the seeker who accepts literal uh, who accepts as literal the rambling allegories of the alchemists right and he gets into the whole basis of everything is symbolism, everything is symbolic, everything is subliminal. And so once you understand the message behind the subliminal, the message behind the, the mysteries of these symbols, then that which you have been waiting on, that which you have been trying to figure out will come to you. And that is what we call the eternal truth or the everlasting light. So then you become the light barrier because not only do these symbols represent things outside of you, but they represent things that are also within you. So when you understand these symbols, Baphomet, Osiris, Amun-Ra, Ishtar, <laughs> Zeus even, uh, you know, Apollo, uh, Dionysus, Jesus, Haru, Ogun and Oshun, Obatula, Olodumare, Oshun, Yemeya, you know, Papa Pompajira, Papa Legba. You know, when you study these symbols and these uh, deities and all these other particular aspects of yourself, then you will have knowledge of self. As the Kushites even say, you know, know thyself and you shall know the gods or the netters. So all these particular deities that were created are just aspects of yourself. If you even look at the anatomy of your body, when you look at the ephah system, everything from top to bottom is a description of these particular gods or goddesses. Two other books that are also great for Manly P. Hall is Man is the Grand Symbol of the Mysteries. Another great book is where he, or he uh, talks about and describes the anatomy of the human body in symbolism and how everything from top to bottom not only describes a certain zodiac sign, but it also describes a certain personality. It describes a certain energy that you can bring out within yourself. All these symbols, everything from Baphomet to Jesus, these are just descriptions of your higher self and everything as above, so below, as within, so without. All these descriptions of mythologies, whatever particular mythology it may be, whether it's Greek, whether it's Mesopotamian, whether it's Egyptian, whether it's West African, whether it's Norse mythology, all of these perceptions of mythology are just descriptions of your higher and lower self, as above, so below. 
So as Manly or, or as Joseph Campbell said, all the gods, all the heavens, all the hells are within you. And that is the whole basis of mythology. That's the whole basis of these stories and what this society has done for maybe the past 500 years is that they have taken the stories of the alchemists literal. They have taken the stories of the people who were trying to teach the science to people, trying to teach, teach them about their higher self and, and what their specialty is, and they have made it literal. See, the early Christians knew that Jesus was a subliminal message of their higher self. Jesus is no more of an archetype of Haru because the whole story and perception of Jesus came out of Kemet. So when you understand who Jesus is, he's not a real person, he's not a historical figure, he is a description of your soul. You are supposed to save yourself from this world. Your carnal self has to be crucified, has to be put aside. When you're dealing with this whole side of, of crucifying the flesh, letting go of your fleshly or carnal desires as it called as it says in the Bible. This is where you're dealing with the aspect of taking on the spirit, being led by your higher thoughts than your lower thoughts, and not letting your desires and your ego consume you. Because you can't advance in this society, you can't advance as a person if you let your ego, your emotions, and your desires get the best of you. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God if you let your desires and the things that you want to do get the best of you. That's why it says that you have to crucify the flesh daily. You have to let go and put aside your desires on a daily to take on the Spirit of God, to be led by the Spirit of God. For the people who are watching, I need you to stop being spooked out by Judgment Day or you're going to go to hell or all this other type of hoopla and, and things that are symbolic that you may deem as being satanic or, or demonic, whatever the case is. These descriptions of these symbols and these signs and these messages and these logos are dress descriptions of your higher self and your lower self and everything above as below. Even when you look at Solomon's temple, it's a description of your body. The temple, the synagogue, the church, this is description, this is a description of your body. It tells you in the Bible that God does not dwell in buildings made by man's hands. It's talking about your body, the temple of God. If anybody tries to tell you otherwise, you just be about your business. You know, <laughs> don't cast your pearls to swine. Just let the dead bury the dead and be about your business. A lot of people cannot grasp uh, this type of information because it wasn't what, it wasn't meant for them to begin with. It, it's a sad case, but you know, when it comes to the basis of the many are called but few are chosen, and the one forty four. I mean, this is when you're really dealing with this type of information because everybody has been brainwashed into thinking that this type of information is satanic and masonic and demonic. And if they really understand the words that they use to describe the things that they fear and want to uh, abstain from, they will understand that things that are demonic is divine, things that are satanic is actually rebellious. <laughs> Things that are Masonic is just occultic and occultic is nothing bad. Occultic means that it's hidden. It's mystical. But anywho, that's what I have for this video for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the information that I gave, let me know in the comment section below. Also, share your thoughts concerning everything that I brought up in this video as well. If I left anything out, if you disagree with me, respectfully disagree with me in the comment section below. Um, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone, and I am out. Yeah, it just me, myself, and I. Ride it, no, no, hit me up, might not reply. Feeling focused, got my optics on the light. Feel on the prize, you compromise, go suicide. I pay the price, it just me, myself, and I. Ride it low, low, hit me up, might not reply. No, no. Feeling focused, got my optics on the life. Been on the prize, you come for mine. Suicide, I pay the price. Hey.